Hey guys, I just want to document this um, and show you the trouble that I'm having with PayPal. Um, as most of you know, PayPal deplatformed me just recently. Um, I think it was a, around about the 25th of August. Now they gave me no uh, reason whatsoever and in their terms and conditions they actually state that, that you can be deplatformed at any time and for any reason and they don't have to tell you why. Um, so PayPal is totally unstable, totally it, it's, it's a platform that really is going to the dogs uh, in a big way. Um, it, it's, it's not reliable enough to be used as a monetary platform. Um, now th this is it's really disgusting what's going on. They can deplatform you, you can't touch your money for up to 180 days. And then they give you the runaround. Um, I keep getting these emails, it's around about every two weeks. We need some information from you, da 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 da. Uh, since you fa failed to meet the request, the response were further limited certain features in your PayPal account. Um, now, this is extremely convenient on their part. Uh, not so convenient on my part. They seem to be able to give me the runaround um, and delay, 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 delay uh, any payments that you guys have donated to me um, continuously and get away with it. Uh, no wonder they have so many class action lawsuits against them. They're, they're policies and procedures are just disgusting. They, they, they're legal, legalized criminals, in my opinion. There's not a banking institution in the world that should be allowed to get away with this. This is not their money. It's my money. It's money that you guys have donated to me very, very kindly. Um, it, it's just absolutely disgusting. Now, admittedly, this could be a scam email. Okay, but I have checked, I've checked through the logs and checked all the, the servers and everything in the background and it does appear to be coming from PayPal. It appears to be a valid PayPal uh, uh, email. Um, obviously the service at paypal.com.au is a, um, an Australian email address. Uh, that in its own right is not enough to say it's legit uh, because the email can be spoofed. So whatever you, you if you don't know about that sort of thing just be careful don't trust just because it's got the email address don't trust it uh, there's all sorts of scams that go on all the time um, so what's going on is I'm getting these uh, emails I'm then going in and logging into my PayPal account uh, and there's nothing there there's there's nothing asking me for more information so what I've done is I've sent them messages now what's happened here is I've sent them a message containing the text in the email uh, and said basically WTF, what's going on, um, you know, and, and sort of explained briefly in a previous message um, that you're asking me for information and then when I log into my account there's nowhere where it says I need, informa need more information. Um, so my account is not matching up with the email. Uh, and again, that seems to be extreme, extremely convenient for PayPal's part. Uh, so I sent them a message with the, you know, with the content of the email and said, you know, please explain. Uh, their automatic response back uh, is the same as what I posted to my website. We appreciate your interest in PayPal. Well, hey, first of all, I'm not interested in PayPal. I just want you to pay my money uh, and close the, the service. I mean, PayPal's absolutely 100% useless. Absolutely useless. Uh, un unfortunately, our decision to close your account is final. Well, great. Pay me up and we're done. PayPal. Yeah, it's as easy as that. Um, PayPal reserves the right to close any account. Um, now, that is just total lies, total nonsense. Nothing I've done is fraudulent or high risk or anything. Uh, donations via a website uh, is all I've ever used PayPal for and paying a few eBay bills from time to time. Uh, that's all I've used PayPal for and that's absolute total rubbish and 
it's it's defamatory and to be honest I mean that that's something that I might even take further um, so PayPal uses pretty pathetic excuse to close your account up and to lock the money that you do have in there uh, into a, a non go anywhere you can't do anything with um, situation now they they say it's for up to 180 days um, but let's see in this situation uh, I think this could um, blow out to be a much more of a problem I, I think at this stage I think it might be worth me joining the class action lawsuit that's uh, against PayPal at the moment for bad business practices uh, illegal dealings in um, monetary matters uh, and defamatory claims against their clients I mean th this is this is a pretty serious situation uh, admittedly again you know there's not a lot of money in there thankfully um, and PayPal seem to be playing all sorts of silly games with their customers to um, to get out of having to pay money uh, this is pretty pretty pathetic so what I've done is I've sent a message in reply to this automated reply you have not replied to my message uh, you people are useless they are absolutely totally useless uh, can you not reply to my message with contact content that actually makes sense and is contextual I mean you know they're sending me an email saying they need more information from me but then when when I log into my account there's nothing there there's nothing asking for information there's everything is being filled out correctly I've got all the information in the account that needs to be in the account I've been verified everything like that um, it's just total 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 rubbish I, I, I'm lost for words I can't believe it uh, my god no wonder you have class action lawsuits against you um, so I'm going to send that off to them because they're absolutely useless um, PayPal have lost the plot big time um, it, it appears to me that poor old Elon Musk's company that he sold years ago uh, is going down the gurgler very very fast very very uh, quickly uh, with a whole bunch of slime around them so sooner or later PayPal is going to be gone I would say um, now I just want to let you know PayPal themselves my friends PayPal is in a huge amount of trouble shareholder alert okay basically shareholders get out of PayPal if you can PayPal is going down the gurgler big time okay there's not a lot of information about this on the internet it seems that they uh, somehow they're keeping this extremely quiet um, but PayPal has got a huge lawsuit against them it's been filed October the 18th 2021 PayPal Holdings Incorporated shareholder alert okay PayPal's going down the gurgler big time okay they they will not be able to survive this uh, class action unless they really start getting their act together uh, this class action against PayPal look it's totally deserved I, I hate to say it but PayPal deserve to be taken out of business if they're not going to conduct business properly they deserve to be put out of business totally and, and everybody that runs PayPal at the moment should not be allowed to practice business indefinitely their business practices are crooked and criminal and if they weren't then this class action would not be held against PayPal. PayPal are a criminal organization and they deserve everything that they get and let's hope that maybe that the governments or something someone takes it over and brings it back from um, certain death uh, because at the moment it's uh, it's hidden that way. Uh, my friends I just want to share this with you this is some of the trouble that I've had with PayPal now you'll be aware that I used to have a couple of buttons up here um, PayPal did platform to me explanation refused okay so I just want to show you that I'm now using wise wise is a little bit harder to use but it's a way better platform once you're actually using it okay it's, it's a little bit difficult to sign up a little bit difficult to to 
get working initially, but once you're in, it, it's really good. It's way better than what PayPal ever was. Um, now, I just want to really quickly, if I can, show you that thread. Okay, I was deplatformed, yeah, August the 25th, 2021. That's when PayPal deplatformed me. Uh, after a, a review, we've decided to permanently limit your account. Okay, now they gave me the 180 days. Um, but there was no, there, there's no explanation. There's no, you've clicked the wrong button here, or there's no, um, we've detected um, a, a, a breach, or there's no nothing. There's no explanation whatsoever. And it's defamatory that they actually say that it, they imply that there's any risk or any, um, any fraudulent behavior going on because there's absolutely not. I've used PayPal for... Oh, I don't even know. 20 years or, or even more? I don't know. A, a long, long, long time I've used PayPal. They've just, they've just completely gone to the dolls. So I urge everybody out there, look, I'm going to say straight up, get your money out of PayPal while you can. Don't use PayPal for holding any money. Okay, get your money out of PayPal. Keep a very, very, very small balance in there. Um, and and keep all your money close to your chest because honestly PayPal they're just they're just criminals they're just criminals they're absolutely criminals um, now just so that you guys do know there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of people that have been de deplatformed by different places uh, Twitter Facebook um, you know everywhere PayPal, there's lots and lots and lots of places that are deplatforming de people. Uh, President Trump was deplatformed by Twitter, Facebook, and I don't even know who, whoever else. Um, President Trump has his own class action lawsuit against Twitter and Facebook, and I think several others as well at the moment. Um, so he's fighting them as well. Now, my general rule of thumb, uh, I urge everybody to come up with their own conclusions, but my general rule of, rule of thumb is if you get deplatformed, you're usually doing something right. They deplatform you if you're against their narrative. They deplatform you if you are any sort of threat to what they are trying to do. They deplatform you if you make an extra five dollars on top of what they say that you're allowed to 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 make um, so they are doing this for a very good reason and they're doing this against good people all the time okay if you go out if you do the research you'll see that that there is no reason to de-platform de at least probably 90 percent of the people that they're deplatforming at the moment it's the same as all the youtube videos disappearing off the internet um, doctors of 20, 30 years with with experience, some of the best doctors in the world are being deplatformed at the moment because they say X, Y, Z about such and such topics. If they don't like what you're saying, they will deplatform you. It's censorship. It's it's a propaganda push. It's criminal on every single level that you can think about. Um, I totally disagree with it, um, so I urge all people out there, make a stand, um, you know, stop using PayPal, you know, stop using Facebook, stop using Twitter, um, go to some of the other platforms, uh, you know, te Telegram is another platform that seems to be rock solid and stable, um, Rumble is another video platform that, that seems to be pretty stable, pretty solid. Um, so go and use the other platforms and get rid of these platforms that are doing the wrong thing every single day of the week. Okay, please everybody, please get rid of them.